Hello, good evening. Hello, good evening, Miss Rebecca. Hello, good evening, Jenny. Hello, hello, good evening, Julio. Good evening, Mr. Carlos. Welcome. Hoy. Good evening. Good evening. Hello, hello. Enjoy your food, Miss. Good evening. Don't worry, that's okay. Hello, uh, Rodrigo, welcome. Don't worry, I understand. I understand that you're in your house. That's okay. Don't worry, eat. It's very important to eat. Es muy importante que coman porque si no, ahí van a estar pensando comida, comida. <laughs> you're not going to think in English, English, English. <laughs> so, yes, don't worry. That's okay. And hello. Hello, hello to the ones. Hello, Mr. Rodrigo, welcome. Hello, teacher. Thank Hello. you. How are you, mister? Um, I'm fine, teacher. Nice. I'm good. Thank you for asking. Uh, ready, ready, ready to start the class for today. Just give me one second. Hello. Good evening. Good evening, mister. How are you? Hello. 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 Hello, me escucha, mister? Yes. Ah, okay, perfect. Thank you. I thought you didn't listen to me. Pensé que no me escuchaba, mister, but okay, great, great. Yes, I that, listened to you. Okay, that's awesome. Thank you for letting me know. Okay, uh, just give me one tiny little second so I can share with you my presentation. There you have it. Okay. Okay, give me one second, please. I had a little bit of a trouble, but I am here right now. Okay, so as you can see, there we have a little bit of uh, the presentation, right? Right there. Okay, so let's go ahead and start with the class. Thank you for being here today. I really appreciate that, okay? Um, so right now we are going to start today's class. Today we are going to continue with English for World Program, okay? And here, we are going to continue with basic module number three. My name, one more time, is Lizette Rosmeria Alvarado Martinez, and today it is Tuesday, November 29, 2022. Right? And today we are going to continue with unit number two, right? That yesterday we also started with that. Ayer también pues comenzamos con esto. We are unit number two, socializing, right? And it's a little bit of a speaking. Today, we are going to study and review because you already studied the simple present and we are going to do it one more time, okay? And also we are going to- Hello, practice. you freeze it, teacher. I am freeze? Hello? <laughs> uh, freeze uh, the camera. Right now? What about now? Hello? No camera, um, yes, listen to you. Okay, right now, can you hear me? Yes. Okay, I'm Perfect. sorry. Give me one second, I think it's the internet connection. Sí, ya se ve y se escucha. Okay, perfect, just give me one second. It's strange, it's my internet. Okay, so as I was telling you, thank you, mister, for letting me know. <laughs> and I'm sorry, I was frisked. Okay, so as I told you before, today we are going to continue with the simple present review, the simple present. ¿Se congeló la pantalla? Oh my goodness. ¿Y ahora? Ahora sí, teacher. Okay, so let's practice, okay? Today we are going to uh, do a little bit of practice for the verbs. One more time, remember that we are learning the verbs, right? So uh, let's go ahead and play this tic tac toe or and also called X0, okay? So what do you have to do? Here we have the numbers from one to nine. Como pueden ver, tenemos los números del uno al nine. Recuerden que tic-tac-toc o X0, se trata de que pues debemos de juntar tres, ¿verdad? Debemos de hacer marcas like three. And if you make three, you win, okay? So let's practice. In today's class, we are going to practice the verbs in past. Vamos a practicar los verbos en pasado. So let's start with Miss Rebecca. 
Miss Rebecca, what number do you want? Hello, Miss Rebecca? Or Julio, then? Number three. Number three. Okay, tell me what is the past for B, past participle for B, mister. Was and were. Oh, past participle. Past participle. Being. Yes, very good, mister. Okay, do you want the zero or you want the X, mister? X. X, okay, thank you. Let's go next one. Mister... Eh, Mr. Carlos Miguel. Hi. Hi, Mr. Okay, tell me what number do you want? One, two, three, I mean, one, two, four, five, six, seven, eight, or nine? Uh, nine. Number nine. Okay, number nine. Uh, so tell me what is the pass for win? Um, win. Mm -hmm. Um, <laughs> um, I don't know. Oh my Wong. goodness. <laughs> uh, no, excuse me. Wong. Uh, yes. Wong? Wong, uh -huh. Wong. One, exactly. Wong. One, yes. This one. <laughs> one, okay, very good. Thank you. Let's go. Next one. I want the help from Mr. Rodrigo. What number, Mr.? Uh, number five. Five, okay, your ex. Tell me what is the pass for by, pass participle for by. For by? Yeah, by. Mm -hmm. I don't remember, teacher. Ooh, who remembers what is the pass participle for by, everybody? Both. Yes, exactly, but. Okay, repeat, please. Buy, but, but, okay? Okay, let's go next one. It would be um, Mr. Julio. Oh, no, Mr. Julio, you already did it, right? Oh, no. Yes. No. Okay. <clears throat> Miss Diana. Miss Diana, can you practice? Hello, Miss Diana, or let's see, Rebecca. Rebecca, can you practice right now? Uh, more or less. <laughs> okay, tell me one number first. Um, one. One, okay, so I have zero. Tell me what is the past participle for read? Uh, repeat, please. What is the past participle for read? Read. Yes, very good. Thank you. Okay, let's go next one. I want the help from uh, Miss. Let's see. Hello. Okay, Miss Blanca. Give me one second. I'm going to put your name with oyente because I forgot. Y los llamo a veces. Lo que están de oyente. Okay, um, Miss Jen Jenny's. Do you Hello. want to? <laughs> Hello. Okay, what number do you want? Tu eres X, Miss. Okay. Number seven. Okay, number seven. Okay, ooh, you win. Uh, tell me what is the past participle for? Hmm, sleep. Past is, is, sleep. Uh -huh. is sleep. Uh -huh. sleep. Uh -huh. What is the past sleep? Sleep. Uh -huh. Sleep. Sleep. <laughs> sleep. Yes, miss. It's a sleep. Don't worry. Okay, but good job. Uh, let's go. You already won anyway. Ya, ya ganaron. Uh, so that's okay, okay? And now, let's do, vamos a hacer otro, porque ya vi que se unieron más. Welcome, Blanca, welcome. Clelia, welcome, David, welcome. 
Karen. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Welcome, Nilton. Welcome, Serafin. Welcome to the class. Thank you for being here, you guys. I really appreciate that. Okay, let's play it again. Now, let's start with Mr. Nilton. Tell me one number, mister. Tienes que decir un nombre, okay? Y eh, un nombre, un número, I'm sorry, un número. Y debes de decir si quieres X o zero, okay? Porque es X cero. Y al mismo tiempo te voy a preguntar un verbo en pasado, okay? So we can practice the verbs in past participio, los verbos en pasado participio, okay? So let's go, Mr. Nilton, what number do you want to try? Number three. Three, okay. X or zero, mister? Zero. Okay. Tell me what is the past participle for... Hmm. Cook. Cook, cook, cook. Uh, repeat. Cook. Cook, 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 cook. cook. Mm -hmm. I cook. Past, past participles, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Yeah. Yes, cook it. Cooked, exactly. Cooked. 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 Excellent. Okay. Thank you. Okay, let's go. Next one. Help me, please, David. Emmanuel, what number do you want to try? Uh, five. Five. Okay, two or six. Tell me what is the past participle for drink? Uh, drink. Drink. No, what is the no. past principle? No. Mm, ese no me lo puedo, teach. Mm, who remembers? Drunk. Drunk. Drunk, exactly. Ah, drunk. A, de, a decirlo, Iba. Ah, <laughs> I don't know about that. <laughs> but very good. Thank you for trying. Let's go. Next one. It would be, please help me, Miss Clelia. Miss Clelia, what number? Uh, two. Two, okay. Number two, tú eres zero. Tell me what is the past participle for drive? Ah, uh, you know. I'm sorry? No lo sé. Oh, who remembers? Who remembers what is the past participle for drive? Driving. Yes, driven, Mr. Driven. Ah, driven, I'm sorry. Um, but very good, but good. Thank you, Mr. Let's see, drive, drove, driven. Let's see, let's go with Serafin. Tell me one number, Mr. Three. Um, number is um mm -hmm. eight. Eight, Zero. okay. No, pero tú eres ex, ex, ex ajá. Ex. Tell me what is the past participle for washed. Wash. Wash. Eh, washed. Yes, very good, Serafin. Thank you. Let's go next one. It would be Carlos Miguel. Tell me. Hello. Ajá. Uh -huh. Tell me one number, mister. <laughs> ah. <laughs> yes, um, please. Yeah, uh, uh, ¿Cuál va X o va a cero? Uh, zero. Oh. Ah, okay, one. <laughs> one. Tell me <laughs> what is the past participle for listen. Uh, listen. Yeah. Um, listen, 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 Listen. Listened. Uh -huh. Okay. With ED. Yeah. But very good. Thank you for trying, Mr. Thank you. And also another win. Ahí tenemos otro win. <laughs> but very good, everybody. Let's go ahead and let's go with the next one. In the next one, it's a little bit of color hunting. Everybody's going no. to um, practice right here. Okay. And in this one, I'm gonna show you, okay, one color. In este, in esta actividad, give me one second, I'm gonna mute you. In esta actividad, pues, le voy a, a mostrar un color por ahí. And, and you have to show me, okay? Show me one object with the color, okay? That I am going to show you over there, okay? So, are you ready? You have to show me the object, okay? Remember to show me the object. 
Okay, so here we go. The first color hunting, it will be, show me something red, everybody. Red, 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 show me something red. Something red of it, oh, very good, Julio. Tomato. Tomato, uh-huh, but show me, show me something red. Ay, lo veo lento, lo voy a, voy a apagar. Oh, very good, Milton, thank you, very good. Very good, Rodrigo, excellent, thank you. Very good, Jenny, it's excellent. What about the other ones? Hmm, something red, algo color red. Hmm, okay, let's go, next one. Show me, show me something. Yellow, everybody, yellow, yellow, yellow. Hmm, yellow. Excellent, Rodrigo, excellent, Rebecca. Good, good. Very good, Miss Jenny, thank you. Very good. Ay, Carlos Miguel, that was easy. Lemon. Julio, very good. Ay, oh my goodness, se me freeze. Creo que yo me quedé frisada, ¿verdad? Very good, Rebecca. Excellent, Carlos Miguel. Sí, lo vi. Lo que pasa es que creo que no me escucharon. <laughs> I'm sorry. Very good, Miss Diana. Excellent, excellent, everybody. Okay, let's do another one. Everybody, please try to participate, okay? Try it. Show me, show me something. Blue. Wait, sorry. Blue, 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 blue. Everybody? Something. Blue. Oh, my goodness. I am there. Blue. Ah, very good. Oh, my goodness. Very good. Rodrigo, very good. Nilton, Diana, Karen, uh, Ana, Veronica, Carlos Miguel. Thank you. Very good. Jenny. Se congeló de nuevo, teacher. I am sorry. Yo me miro bien. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I don't know what is happening, but my internet is super good. It's a strange. It's super strange. Okay. Um, so let's go next one. Let's see. Wait a second. Show me, show me something. Green, 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 green. Show me something green. Please, please. Excellent. David Emanuel, Rebecca, Karen, Diana, Rodrigo. Very good. Thank you, Carlos Miguel. Excellent. Very good. Ana Verónica, thank you. Con la toalla right there. O con la colcha. I don't know what is that. Very good. What happened to the other ones? Show me something green. Remember. Okay. Uh, next one. Let's go. And it will be show me, show me something purple. Show me something purple. Wait, wait. Okay, show me something purple. Very good, Carlos. Very Carlos Miguel, very good, Miss Diana. Excellent. Very good, Miss Karen, very good, Rodrigo. Juan Ezequiel, very good. Hello, hey, very good, Nito. Very good, Mr. David. Uh -huh. La casa is purple. Yeah, yes. true fact. Excellent. Very good, very good. Awesome. Thank you, everybody. Let's go another one. Show me, show me something colored. White, show me something white, everybody. White, white. Very good, Rodrigo. Very good, Karen. Very good, Carlos. Bueno, que es brown y white. Ah, no, great, mister. Very good, Jenny. Very good, Diana. Carlos Miguel, eso es great. Well, silver, silver and white. <laughs> yeah, but good, you're good. The sticker is, it is color white. Oh, okay, yeah, but, okay. okay, but thank you, mister. Um, let's see who else, who else has white, oh, very good, Miss Rebecca. Let's see, next one, wait a second. Oh my goodness, with this, and I think that's all, yeah. Okay, so right now we are going to do attendance section, okay? So please be ready. I don't know, let's try. Can you see me very good right now or I'm freeze? Me bien bien o todavía estoy freeze? Yes, 
Uh, yes. I'm free. How good? How good? I'm good. Good. Yes. Good. Okay. More or less. More or less. <laughs> okay. Right now we are going to do a attendance section. Pero si me escuchan bien, verdad? Yeah. Yes. Okay, perfect. Yes, that's that's good. Okay, that's good. Okay. Uh, so please say presente. Give me one second. ¿Qué pasó con los demás? What happened? What happened here? Wait. Wait a second. Give me one tiny little second. En un segundo, please, because uh, something happened. Give me one second. I, the thing is that I'm watching the, the list. Estoy viendo la asistencia and I don't have half of you. Estaba viendo la asistencia. Give me one second. Un segundo. Me van a esperar un segundo porque este, estaba viendo la asistencia y no me aparece la mitad de ustedes. <laughs> so I just have half of you. Solo veo la mitad de ustedes. And so I'm and I am asking for help. Estoy pidiendo pues ayuda para que que este, veamos qué es lo que sucede porque eso no me parece desde Miss Clelia tengo, no tengo a nadie más so give me one second one tiny little second please give me one second so I just have I don't have the rest of you I don't know why why is that give me one second no. Si no, no puedo, I cannot, no puedo hacer a tenant section. Porque. Okay, no, okay. So you know what? We are going to do, hello, Bob, uh, Miss. I don't have half of the students. No, ten, tengo la mitad de los alumnos en asistencia, Miss. Si me puede ayudar. Solo tengo de Miss, de este, desde Miss Clelia, me parece, no me parece la otra mitad, desde la número 8. Me puede ayudar ahí, please, en la lista. It's in, it's on the list in the, in the list. Please, please. Gracias. So, you know what? We are going to give some time. Vamos a darle unos segundos a que me chequeen la lista porque si tengo problemas, no me aparecen todos, como les digo. Entonces, vamos a esperar, okay? And uh, y después vamos a hacerla este en un ratito lo vamos a hacer. Ahorita vamos a continuar, okay? And um yeah. Okay, so let's go ahead and continue, okay? En un ratito volvemos a hacer la asistencia, okay? Thank you so far. And just to start, okay, we're going to go with this, eh, the manual, and let's continue with unit number two. And we are going to go with this, that is eh, the unit number two, that is socializing, right? As you know, and we were talking about um, how how much we speak, estábamos hablando un poco ayer, vea, acerca de cuánto hablamos, what do we ask, qué, qué preguntas hacemos, verdad? And uh, so here we have, do you usually receive business guests in your workplace? Do you enjoy welcoming guests and why? Okay, so what do you do here? And so... So when you are in your job, cuando están, eh, ustedes están en sus eh, trabajos, ok, eh, ustedes, digamos que les toca como um, 
alguien llega y les toca recibir a esta persona. So, what do you do? What do you say? Can you tell me some ideas? What do you do? What do you say when somebody comes to your job in your workplace, okay? Say welcome. Ah, you say welcome, very good. What else do you do? What else do you do? For example, present others employees. Oh, very good. That's a good one. What else? What else do you ask or do you say? You say welcome, right? Welcome. Hello. ¿Cómo se llama eso? What, ¿Qué otras frases pueden utilizar? Mm -hmm. Oh, my goodness. I got freeze. Hey. Ah. Hello. Se, se va la señal suya. No lo escuchamos, teacher. Hello, and now? Yes, listen to you. Yes. Hello? ¿Y ahora? Hello, yes. Okay, tell oh, me, okay. tell me the phrases that you used. Ajá, uh -huh. so besides, hello, welcome, ¿qué otra frase? Yo sé que ustedes saben muchas frases. Uh, uh, what, how, what do you promise? I help you? What is, your pro what is the problem? Sorry, Mr. David, can you repeat, please? Uh, oh, I can, I can help you. Ah, can I help you? Very good. Another other question that you can, um, that you can use? Uh -huh, another phrase, like, how are you maybe? You don't ask how are you to the people that comes to your job? No le preguntan how are you? How can I help you? Very good. That's a good question though, too. Yes. Uh -huh. Any other question? And do you want to drink? Um, permita, no, me voy a acordar. Uh, okay. Do you want to drink uh -huh. uh, some water? Oh, perfect. Do you want to drink some water? That would, that's a good question too. Excellent. Thank you, mister. Anything else that you do? Maybe you say, come this way. Tal vez lo dirigen, ¿verdad? Esa persona al lugar donde, donde tiene que ir, ¿verdad? Okay. And you say, thank you for coming here, right? And so on. Uh, now, and let's go to the manual now, okay? So you can see a little bit of this because in there I have a short conversation, okay? Ahí en el manual, pues tenemos una conversación, okay? In page 21, everybody please go to page 21. And here, we have this conversation and this conversation it's happening in Mrs. Tate's arrive to a restaurant and she will train the personnel, okay? Mr. John, the owner welcomes her and here we have a conversation. This is in a restaurant, este, eh, la dueña, eh, so, no, I'm say, I'm, I'm sorry, it's the other way. It means stays at rice of the restaurant, okay? It means stays eh, es la chica, okay? Y ella llega a este personal. Ella a este personal, a este restaurante, sorry. Y va a ser entrenada por el dueño que es Mr. John, okay? Y la saluda, welcomes her. And here we have a conversation. Aquí tenemos la conversación de lo que sucede. A volunteer, two volunteers, please, that can help me to read. Me, teacher. Thank you. So we Hi, have, teacher. oh my goodness, I have two people. So Rebecca, I heard Rebecca first and then Ana Veronica. So, and then later, Mr. You help me. Mistake. Hello, good morning. Are you me, John? Mm -hmm. Hello. Hello. Uh, Ana Verónica? Sí, aquí estoy. Okay, so it would be Miss Rebecca? Sí. Okay. 
Yes, teacher. Okay, Miss Rebecca. Yes, I am. No, el micrófono. Yes, I am. Continue. I mistake. I am trainer. Nice to meet you. Hello. Nice to meet you, Miss Lake. Let me let me introduce the staff. This is Mario. He is the branch manager, and this is Lee, Leo. Welcome. Nice to meet you. Nice meeting you, Mario. Nice to meet you, Leo. What do you do? Nice to meet you. I am Cher or the kitchen staff. Mm -hmm. Great. E, uh, Mr. John, what does the girl over there do? She's Nisa. She's in charge of... Great. Oh, really? She is yeah. in charge of purchases. That was the last one? And no, you leí great. Yo lo leí, Miss. Oh, okay. So you had a mistake there. Uh -huh. Es que como hay otra persona, Leo, por eso fue que se me confundieron. So, but that, don't worry. That's okay. You did awesome. So at the end, it was, she's Nisa. She's in charge of purchases. So that's okay, you girls. Okay. Now. In here, as you can see, they are introducing. And what are the types of questions that they are using? What type of questions are those? What is it? Simple present, simple past. Mm -hmm. Simple present. Simple present, right? Simple present. Can you mention some of the sentences that you can see over there? Uh, some of the simple present questions and sentences? What do you do? Ah, very good. What do you do? What, what does the... Yes, Mr. Over... Carlos Miguel? What does the girl over there do? Uh-huh. Any other question or sentence for the simple present? Um, um, I am the trainer. Um, I am the trainer. I am the trainer, and exactly that is um, simple present. Very good. Uh huh. Hello, nice, nice to meet you. Let me Thank introduce you. the staff. The staff. Uh huh. Let this me. Is, he is the branch manager, and this is Leo. Exactly, mm -hmm. he's the branch manager. Very good. And I think uh, another the one. Management of the kitchen staff. Uh, exactly. I am in charge of the kitchen staff. Okay. She's in charge of purchase. Exactly. Purchase. Very good. Excellent. So, yes, those are all simple present sentences, right? Aunque tienen el verbo tu vida por ahí, ¿verdad? Pero sí, son eh, oraciones en el simple present. Thank you. And very good, you guys. Now, here. It says that we are going to complete this sentence, this sentence, these questions, okay? And for example, number one, so what, what will be the question here? How will be the question here? Okay. What do you? Uh -huh. What What do you? Or what do. Mario? That's, that's, that's what Mario do. What do you, Mario, do? What does Mario Exactly. Do. And what was the answer? Do you remember? Mario? Uh -huh. The manager in, in church. I Mario think. is the manager. Is it the manager? Let me see. Wait a second. And no, Mario is, he says, welcome, nice to meet you. Oh, this is a the manager. The manager, exactly. He's the branch manager, but you were good. It, it was similar. 
Thank you. What about next one? What? What do? do. What do? What do you? Do, uh -huh. do you? Do you? What do you do, Leo? Uh -huh. What do you do, Leo? Uh -huh. And the answer for Leo is? So, Leo, what does Leo do? Uh, he is uh, in charge of the kitchen staff. He is in charge, exactly. Of the kitchen staff. Excellent, Mr. Staff. Number two, number three, sorry, what? I'm sorry for that. Uh -huh. What does Nisa do? Exactly. What does Nisa do? And the answer would uh, be? She, she's in charge of purchase. Exactly. De las compras. Exactly. Of purchase. Excellent. Thank you, Mr. Wow, that was super good. And also right now we are going to do a little bit of um, the uh, practice, okay, for the simple present, okay, so we are going to practice a lot. So before we do that, it says here the personal, personnel, okay, personnel, it, this is something very important to highlight, personnel. It's with plural verbs, so so we use are or the verbs, regular verbs, okay? And the staffs is by singular or plural verb. For example, the staff work, it would be works, works 40 hours a week. And our chicken staff follows, okay? The ministry, ministry of health regulations, okay? And so el personnel se refiere a un grupo, verdad? And so, yes, and el staff se refiere a, a un solo grupo, entonces por ende vamos a utilizar verbos con S. Algunas veces se va a poder utilizar el verbo en plural, que es el que no lleva S, ¿ok? Ahorita vamos a practicar, let's practice a little bit, ¿ok? And so, let's go with the simple present. And uh, so let's start WH questions with simple present. Which ones are the WH questions? Do you remember which ones are the WH questions for simple what, present? What, what, where, who, where, who, where, where, when, uh -huh, when, why, which, why, which, which, why, uh -huh. oh. who, how, yeah. who, excellent, very, very good. Okay, so these are like the uh, WH questions, right? And remember that with the simple present WH questions, um, what we do is that we ask for more information, okay? Lo que hacemos es que pedimos por más información y de hecho para responder lo que utilizamos son oraciones completas, ¿verdad? En simple present in this case. Now, um, do you remember, can you remember uh, when do we use the simple present? For example, yeah. what is your address? Uh -huh. But what do you, for what do you use the simple present? Para que se utiliza, for what do you use it? In the question. Uh -huh. the, question. the simple the present. Uh -huh. Simple question. present. Uh -huh. But for what? What things do you question? Or do you ask questions? Uh, long long answer for mm -hmm. more information okay daily routines okay ah, exactly for daily routines what else that's when we use the simple present what your name 
Uh -huh. That's that that is a question, Mister. But for what do you use it for? The simple present WH question. Para qué las utiliza? Para obtener información, sí. Pero información acerca de qué? El simple present. Acerca de las rutinas. ¿Qué más? Conversation. Personal. Ah, personal information. What else? The lugar. The place. Basic, basic information. Basic information. Or general information. Or general information. Very good. Or truth, right? Or cosas verdaderas, right? Now, let's go with and continue with this. Okay, vamos a continuar. En antes que continuemos, I'm going to do attendance section. Vamos a hacer sección de asistencia porque no lo hemos hecho. Ok, so please say presente. Porque si sí ya la tengo. Ok, so Adriana Gabriela. Presente. Thank you. Ana Marleni. ¿No está mi Ana Marleni? Ah, oh, ok. Eh, Blanca Luz. Thank you. Carlos Miguel. Present teacher. Thank you. Carlos Roberto. Present teacher. Thank you. Christian Alexander. Present teacher. Thank you. Give me one second. Clelia Estela. Present. Thank you. David Emanuel. Present. Thank you. Um, Diana Noemi. Present. Thank you. Edwin Roberto. Present teacher. Thank you. Dennis Carolina. Present teacher. Thank you. Eh, Jorge Luis. José Dimas. Julio César. Present. Thank you. Karen Estefanía. Present teacher. Thank you. Nilton Alexander. Present. Thank you. Rodrigo José. Present teacher. Thank you. Ruth Rebeca. Mi Ruth, Rebeca. Pero hace poquito la vi. Ok. Betsy Serafín. Serafín, hello. No. Hello. Hello. Ok, thank you. Present. Ok, María Yamilet. Present. Thank you. Carmen Guadalupe. Carmen. Hola. Ana Verónica. Present. Thank you. Marlene Oneida. Present. Thank you. Juan Ezequiel. Present teacher. Thank you. Very good, everybody. Thank you for doing the attendance section with me. Can you hear me very good? Or it's sometimes cortado. Yes, Miss Carmen. I'm going to say it again. Lo voy a decir otra vez. Carmen Guadalupe. Present, perdón, teacher. Thank you. No problem, Miss. No problem. That's okay. Girl. Uh, yes? Mi nombre, teacher. Lo siento. Oh, okay. No, no estaba, Miss. Ruth Rebeca, o sí. Sí, pero se quedó como calladita un momento. No escuché. No sé si ahí dijo mi nombre. Really? No. Bueno, pero sí. Eh, Ruth Rebeca. Present. Ok. <ríe> Very oh. good. I'm sorry. Sí, mañana voy a tratar de solucionar el internet. Yo pensé que ahora pues ya no iba a tener esa dificultad. Um, um, so, um, don't worry. Tomorrow, maybe, hopefully, mañana, pues, primeramente, Dios, pues, ya les tenga, eh, ya tengamos mejor conexión. No sé por qué está fallándome últimamente. It was super good. Maybe because of the volcano. <laughs> It's really, so that's why. And I'm sorry for that. So let's go with the next one and let's continue, okay? 
Um, and so let's go. And WH question. Sí, la WH question with the simple present. Eh, recuerden que las WH questions con el simple present es para preguntar acerca de una rutina, ¿ok? Cosas verdaderas, true facts. También para saber acerca de los habits, los hábitos. And so, what else? And just that, ¿ok? Now, Está bien el teléfono. Here in this one, uh, we have the two types. Ok, aquí tenemos las, vamos a ver los dos tipos de preguntas que tenemos, porque recuerden que tenemos dos tipos de preguntas en simple present y en todos los tiempos, right? So the first one is, eh, the just no question, for example, do you need a teacher? Yes, I do. Or no, I don't, right? And then we also have this one. What do you need? Y la respuesta sería, oh, I need a shirt. Oh, I need a t-shirt. Or I need a pant. Okay. And as you can see here in the WH question, we used uh, like, um, what can I tell you? Like the question, we need to give more uh, answers. Okay. Do we need to say more? Now let's go ahead and continue in the next ones. In the next one, bueno, aquí tenemos que la yes no question, no need for additional information. And when as WH questions, we need to give details, more information. Now here, uh, here we have the difference, uh, like uh, ideas, and we have the who is for person, what is for things, when is for time. Where is for place, why is for a reason, and how is for to ask for a number, right? And then what? Let's start with what, okay? And can you help me to read when we use what, please, Miss Ana Marleni? Oh, no, creo que está de oyente, o oh, no, Miss. Okay, what about you? Mr. Julio, tell me. We use what to ask about things. Exactly, to ask about things, right? And then uh, here we have some uh, like questions. Can you help me to read them, please? Mm, let's see, Carlos Argueta, the question and the answer, please. Uh -huh. What do you need? Uh -huh. And the answer? I need a suit. I need a suit. Excellent. And because suit is la del hotel, mister. Okay? Suit and suit. Then here we have another one. Remember in this one, help me to read this sentence. This question, please. Uh, Madeline? What doesn't the sister like? Uh -huh. And the answer? He like the red dress. Exactly. And as you can see here, since we are talking about the third person, remember that we have to use uh, those, right? And for uh, you, are you with them? We use do, right? And so, yes, questions so far about this? Questions so far? I think this one is very simple question, right? Okay, now, um, in order to practice a little bit for this, we're going to do one question using what to one of your classmates. Okay, some of you are going to do the question. Like for example, uh, Carlos Miguel, can you do a question to Miss Maria Yamilet, please? Um, what's your last name, Maria Yamilet? My last name is Portillo. Very good. Let's see, Miss um, Miss Maria Yamilet, can you do a question to Juan Ezequiel? 
Juan Ezequiel, what do you favorite color? Mm -hmm. My favorite black. My favorite color? Color black. Ajá. Vale, muy bien, y lo están haciendo súper bien. But remember that in this case, como estamos utilizando el simple present, sería what do o what does, ok? Y después, eh, depends, right? What do you do? Where do you, bueno, in this case, what do you like? What do you eat? Ok, let's see, Juan Ezequiel, can you do a question to Miss Jenny's? Hello, Mr. Juan Ezequiel. Hello, hello. Uh -huh. Can you do a question, Mr. Juan Ezequiel, to Miss to Miss Jenny's? Using simple present what? The question what? Hello. Okay, Jenny, can you do a question to Mr. David, please? Uh, what do you favorite color? Uh, what? Uh, uh -huh. My favorite color is blue. Is that simple present? Is it a simple present? Everybody, can you help me? Uh, <laughs> no, remember, no. Um, what do you, what do you, you, what do you eat? For example, what do you eat in the breakfast, for example? Okay. Yes, Mr. David, one more time. What do you eat in the breakfast? Uh, I eat mm -hmm. eggs. Uh -huh. uh, and, uh, pan francés, uh, maybe you can say bread. It could be only bread. bread. Uh -huh. bread. Okay, eggs with bread. Uh -huh. uh, Co and, and coffee. And coffee, excellent. David Emanuel, do a question, please, to uh, Miss Clelia. Okay, Clelia, uh, what do you do? I uh, study English. Aha, uh -huh. very good. Okay, so as you can see in this one, recuerden que el simple present, eh, so you use, utilizamos el, uh, el la WH question, en este caso, what. What es para preguntar. No sé, teacher. Hello. Me escuchamos, teacher. teacher. Okay, hello, right now. Yes, I listen yes, you. Okay, perfect. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for that. Hello? Ahora sí, vea. Yes. Yes, okay. yes, teacher. Yes. Okay, perfect. Okay. So, la WH questions, okay. Las utilizamos el what más que todo, ¿verdad? para preguntar sobre cosas. Recordemos, aquí decía cosas. Entonces, como por ejemplo, que tú comes, eh, que te gusta, que tú, ¿qué otra cosa puede ser? Que te gusta ver en la televisión y así, va Miren, siempre seguimos el orden para las preguntas. En el simple present siempre va a ser el mismo. El what, y después el do o el does. El, recuerden que el do, ¿verdad? Lo utilizamos con el I, you, we, and they. Y el do se utiliza con el he, she, and it. Y después del sujeto, we use a verb, right? Y después a veces complementamos con algo. Let's do another one. What color? No, we are going to take this one out. Okay, this one. This is how we form the WH uh, question for simple present. Y así es como formamos, vea, una pregunta para, la, para el simple present, miren. 
eh, tenemos la primero la WH question, que puede ser what, where, when, ¿verdad? Después el do y el does. Cuando utilizamos el do, everybody, me recuerdan, ¿con qué sujetos? I. Ajá, you, I. I, you. Ajá, you. They. They. We. And we. Ajá. And eh, does. ¿Con cuáles sujetos utilizamos el does? Y, she, it. She, it. Y, she, it. Ex exactly. Very good. He, she, and it. Excellent. Entonces, ahora que ya sabemos eso, ya vamos a hacer más preguntas, ¿ok? So, miren, por ejemplo, acá tengo que, primero tenemos, quiero recalcar mucho esto, porque veo que sí me pueden crear preguntas, pero utilizamos más que todo el, el verbo to be, ¿verdad? y sí, el, del, el, el simple present incluye el verbo to be, pero quiero que utilicemos otros verbos, ¿ok? Entonces, como por ejemplo, tenemos el what, después tenemos el do en este caso, y después el sujeto, que recuerden acá está, ¿verdad? do you, y después un verbo, miren, what do you like? Oh, I like, I like, Pupusas, I like eh, books, y así vea. So, quiero ver, I think I have another one. Y ahora con el does, vea, lo mismo. En este caso, tengo el when. ¿El when para qué era? ¿Se acuerdan? ¿Era para? ¿Cuándo? ¿Cuándo? Time, ¿verdad? Time. Mm -hmm. Awesome. So, here we have when. Does she need a the shirt? Ah, she needs the shirt in on Saturday, okay, or something like that, okay. And so, yeah. Hmm. Uh, let's see. I want to see what I, else do I have for this one. And, oh, here we have some more examples. Aquí tengo uh, algunos ejemplos más. So, for the WH questions, as you can see, what do you read every day? Oh, miren el orden. So, first we have the WH question. Primero tenemos la WH question. Then we have the do or does, una vez más, y después el sujeto, ¿ve? y después el verbo. Y el resto de la oración. Y para respuesta, a new novel. Quiero ver. Ok, now let's go to the um, whiteboard. Vamos a, a, a practicar un poco en la eh, pizarra. So, what? What and then we use... What do we use después del what? Do or do. does. Exactly. Do or does, ¿verdad? And then, uh, so it would be, what do we use after? Can you tell me one, only one subject? Only one. Do. one two. I'm sorry? Do. You, okay. What do you, huh? Can you tell me one verb, please? Go. Okay, very good. What do you go? Are you sure? But it's for things. Es para cosas, cosas, no lugares. What do you? Read. What do you read? Okay. Oh, but I read it in the other, okay. Vaya, aquí miren, tenemos el what, todos por favor prestemos atención, ok, el what, la WH question, después tenemos el do en este caso, el sujeto y el verbo, ¿verdad? y para responder sería, I read a magazine, por ejemplo, y miren, como pueden ver por acá, tenemos... Bueno, el sujeto, porque es entre dos personas esta conversación, ¿verdad? Entonces sería, I read, give me one second. Ok, I read, el qué, el what? Aquí está, miren. A magazine, right? Let's see, what does your mother cook? Uy, 
Mother cooked. What does your mother cook? ¿Cómo vamos a responder a esa pregunta? She, she my mother. Uh -huh. My mother cooks. Recordemos la S, vea. Uh -huh. My mother cooks. Spaghetti. Ah, pasta. Uh -huh. pasta. A pasta. Vamos a dejarlo. Very good. Y miren la pregunta, ¿cómo se crea? El what, pero en este caso solo estoy con el what. Ya voy a explicar el where y el when. And then also we have el does. Eh, después tenemos el aquí el your mother. Recuerden que vamos a imaginar que es un she, right? Y después tenemos el verbo. Para responder sería primero el subject. Hello, can you hear me? Yes. Okay, perfect. Yes, I'm sorry, pensé que no me escuchaban. Perf. Y el, el what, ¿verdad? Aquí está. El what. Ok. Ok. And so, uh, then, another one, it can be when, right? Tenemos la otra WH question, when, que es para tiempo, ¿verdad? When do you have class, for example? When do you have class? And so, when do you have class? Podemos decir, I have. I have. Mm -hmm. Class eight o'clock. Eight o'clock. Aha, uh -huh. at eight o'clock. Excellent. Thank you. When do you when do you eat lunch? Mm -hmm. What could be the answer? I eat lunch at I eat lunch at one o'clock p.m. Half. Okay, I eat lunch at 1 p.m. Vamos a poner 1 p.m. Very good. Ahora, para igual, vea, miren, el mismo orden, la pregunta. Tenemos primero el when en este caso porque está preguntando acerca de un tiempo, ¿verdad? Después tenemos ahí el do. En este caso, utiliza el do. Después el sujeto. Y la acción, vea, con la rutina en este caso. Y para responder, I have class, right? Y el tiempo sería at 8 o'clock, ¿verdad? Same here. Lo mismo acá. Tenemos la when, do, el you, eat lunch. I eat lunch at 1 p.m., right? So, yes. Ok, y ahora con el does, when does, when does your brother, can you tell me one verb, please? Play. Uh, I'm sorry? Play. Play, ah, when does your brother, brother play? Entonces, para responder sería... My brother. My brother, uh huh. Play. Uh huh. Xbox. No, when, Video Mister? Games. When? Video games. Uh, Xbox. No, no, no. Listen to the question. When? When? The time? Ah, in the when? whole weekend. Weekends. In the weekends. Ah, in the weekends. Okay. Uh huh. Perfect. Very good. Ahora sí, vea. Y después tenemos el otro que sería where, ¿verdad? That's another one, very important one. Oh, no me puedo mover acá. Oh, my goodness, no. Where is for places, right? El where lo vamos a utilizar para lugares. So, yeah. For example, where do you... Where do you... Work. Work, okay. Where do you work? ¿Y cómo vamos a responder? I work... Mm -hmm. In the um, I work. I work in Pizza Hut. Ah, okay, Pizza Hut. Porque recuerden que el work, el where es para para hablar del lugar, verdad? Or maybe we can say where do play. you play? Where do you play? Do you say right? Ahora sí pueden utilizar lo que estaban diciendo antes. 
Xbox. <laughs> I play I, uh -huh. in the Xbox. Exactly, Xbox. Okay, very good. Very good so far. Now, questions, doubts, comments so far? Alguna pregunta o dudas de momento? No. no, no question. Uh, solo un momentito, Jacar Capri. Mm -hmm. uh, where do you play? I play in the Xbox. Mm -hmm. uh, where is. Lugar. A place. Mm -hmm. A play. Mm -hmm. Lugar, ¿verdad? I'm sorry, yes. Y, uh, pero allí dice. Yo juego en el Xbox. Yo yes. juego en el Xbox. Yes, that is the, the thing that you play. That you play, sorry. Mm. You want to say like exactly a place? For example, it can be I play in the living room, for example. Vamos a dejarlo in the living room, porque si no el mister se puede confundir. In the living room, okay? That could be another one, okay? This is the platform, Xbox. Ajá, uh -huh, uh -huh. sí, pero es que también puede ser, por ejemplo, where do we have the class? ¿Dónde tenemos la clase? We have the class on Zoom. O sea, no tiene que ser exactamente un lugar, también puede ser una plataforma, como dice el mister, también puede ser una página, puede ser, ¿por qué? Porque esos son lugares, son sitios virtuales, no, pero... No, 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 escuchamos. Hello. Hello. Yes, yes. Ok, give me one second. Yo creo que vamos a hacer algo. Creo que vamos a hacer, que tengo muchas páginas abiertas quizás por eso. Give me one second. Voy a cerrar varias mm. páginas. Facebook, YouTube. Ah, I wish, I wish, mister. No. <laughs> ya quisiera, but no. It's like, wait, give me one second. Vamos a cerrar esto. Ahora sí. And what about now? Can you hear me? Ahora sí. ¿Me escuchan? Yes, yes, yes. Estoy con la cámara apagada porque tal vez, ¿verdad? Sí. Pero ni aún no sé qué le pasa a mi computer. Y siempre ha sido muy bueno mi internet, pero no sé qué está pasando últimamente. It's super strange. But ok. Um, so, este, ah, estábamos hablando, vea, del where. Lugar también puede ser para plataformas, ¿ok? También puede ser, porque recuerden que son sitios virtuales, entonces se pueden utilizar, ¿ok? So, don't just for places exactly like big places, ¿ok? Think about them, ¿ok? Now, okay. yeah. Eh, mm, repeat, eh, ¿para qué usamos? Which? Which? Uh -huh. But I didn't say which, but which utilizamos for cuáles? Cuáles? ¿Cuál? Es cuál, así, which is cuál? <laughs> which is cuál? Y se utiliza para elegir entre dos cosas, like for example, which? Do you like which, for example, which teacher? Vamos a poner which teacher? Teacher, sorry. Do you like? And so you can say I like the white teacher. Okay. So like that, Miss. Thank you. Okay. And here we have some more examples, as you can see. And, um, and so we have what, and then do, then the subject, and then the verb. And with the does, like that. Let's do a little bit of practice right now. We are going to see some answers. Vamos a ver algunas respuestas. Y ustedes me van a decir cuál creen ustedes que es la pregunta. Ok, aquí tenemos. Wait a second. Ok, I think. Number one, what do you think is the question for that one? What time do you get up? What time? Exactly. What time do you get up? Number two. What do you, what do you go to work? What? 
What are you where, sure? Where, where do you go? Where do you go to work? It's how. How, how do you? Porque cómo, vea, cómo, o sea, con qué medio de transporte, right? So it would be how do you go to work? Number three, what would be the question? Which? Which? No, it's what. What, mm -hmm. what about uh, next one? Number four. Where? Where? Do you have... Where? Where? Yes. And the last one. Why? 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 Uh -huh. Why does she go to work? She goes to work because she needs money. Excellent. Very good. Very good, very good so far. Mm. So, may I continue? Yes. Okay. So, and here, one more time. I had a repeating thing here. Wait, no, we are not going to do that one. Okay, here we have a little bit of practice. What do you buy? What do you think would be that one, the answer? Uh -huh. I buy a computer. Okay, I buy a computer or I buy a terrible. <laughs> okay. Almost, almost. Let's see this one. What does she need? Oh, es que no me parece la imagen, sorry. She needs a purse. Let's see this one. Where do you work? <laughs> I hear, can you help me to read this one, please? Me están dando, me dan las respuestas, I'm sorry. Muchas, muchas pistas nos está dando, teacher. Yes, I know. <laughs> este juego me gusta, teacher. Yeah, uh -huh, right, you have the answers. Can you help easy, me to read? Easy. Can you help me to read the question and the answer, please, Mr. Rodrigo? Thank you. <laughs> please, please. Okay. Uh, where do you work? I work in a school. Aha, uh -huh. very good. Let's see next one. This one, help me to read, please, Christian Elias. Mr. Christian? What about Claudia Maria? Hello, where are you? Let's see. No. Hello. What about Julio? Mr. Julio, tell me here, please. Where does she do exercise? Uh -huh. She does exercise in the gym. Thank you. Very good. Karen, help me to read this one, please. When does he work? Uh -huh. He works on Monday. Excellent, thank you. Nilton, help me to read here, please. When do you read? Mm -hmm. I read every day. Thank you, very good. Jenny's, help me to read here, please. When does the cat eat? The cat eat at 9 a.m. Very good. Let's see next one. Okay, now we have a little bit of practice you have to create. So everybody's going to take terms, okay? And you have to create questions to your classmates. But in this case, we are not going to write them down. So we are going to do like a little, a little chain, okay? And you have to be creating the questions, okay? 
Um, en este caso, vamos a crear preguntas, ok, aquí tienen algunas ideas, ok, but, how are you going to do it? ¿Cómo vamos a hacerlo? Vamos a hacer como una cadenita, ok, so voy a empezar yo, voy a empezar con mis, Ana Verónica, ¿estás como oyente, Miss, o no? O... Sí, oh. no, tengo mucho ruido. Ok, sí. no problem. Eh, Adri Adriana, Ana Marleni también, girls. Ok, so, las que tienen oyente, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go into two questions. Ok, so, for example, Carlos, what, no, where, where do you like to go on holidays? Carlos Argueta. Ah, Carlos Miguel. Uh, ok, yeah. tell me, mister. Cualquiera de los dos. Carlos, Carlos Argueta o Carlos Miguel, I don't know. <laughs> Carlos Miguel, ya lo vi. Usted, tell me, tell me, mister. I love okay. it. Uh -huh. uh, I like go in... I like to go. Uh -huh. I like, I like to go visit my, my father. Excellent. Ah, very good. Okay, now you, Mr. Carlos Miguel, do a question to Mr. Carlos Argueta, please. Okay. Mm -hmm. Uh, what apps do you hate on your phone? What apps do you, right? What apps do you have on your phone? Uh -huh. Very good. What apps? Do you have in your phone, Mr. Apps? Like, for example, I have WhatsApp. Okay. Uh -huh. I, 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 have I have. I have. Meet. Uh huh. App. Uh huh. On your phone. Okay, you have Meet. And what else? What other apps do you have, Mr.? Yeah, what's up? What's up? Yeah, very good. Yeah. Okay, and let's go with the next one. Help me, please. Now, Mr. Carlos Miguel, do a question to Miss Clelia, please. Uh, okay. Mm -hmm. uh, Clelia, what what does your name, neighborhood like? Live. Uh, ¿Qué es neighborhood? Neighborhood es eh, vecindario. Uh, 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 I don't like that. Uh, <laughs> what, what does your neighborhood like? Um, I like... Um, Um, what does your neighborhood like? Mm -hmm. ¿Cómo es tu vecindario? Ah, mm -hmm. uh, my neighborhood is clean, clean, clean. Okay, cleaning. Or clean. 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 Okay, uh -huh. very good. Let's go, Miss Clelia. Can you do a question to Mr. David Emanuel, please? Okay. How many you have brothers and sisters? Miss David, Mr. David Emanuel? Sorry, microphone. <laughs> oh, that's okay. Uh, I have one one brother and one sister. Hello. Okay. Hello, Mr. Okay, Mr. Now you do a question, Mr. David, to Miss Yeah. Oh no. Mr. Edwin. Okay, Edwin. How often do you shopping? Do you go shopping? Uh -huh, very good.
Uh, repeat, please. Okay. How often do you go shopping? How often do you go shopping? ¿Con qué frecuencia vas de compras? Uh, never. <laughs> I never go shopping. I never go shopping. Okay, very good. Let's go, Edwin. Do a question to Mr. Juan Ezequiel. Please, please. Let's do it, mister. Okay. Um, uh, no, no, no. Hmm? What? What are you going to do tomorrow? But is that simple present? Oh, no, no. <laughs> okay. Oh, what, what is party singer? What is, where is that one, mister? Donde esta esa? I don't see it. You can use those, this that you can see in the presentation. Okay, teacher, okay, okay. Uh -huh. For example, how many languages do you speak? Uh, what sport or exercise do you like to do? What kind of music do you like? No, what kind of music do you like? Mm -hmm. So, mister? So, mister? Mr. Edwin. Mr. Juan Ezequiel is the question for mister. I'm sorry, teacher. Mm -hmm. What about you, Mr. Julio? Can you do a question to Miss Karen, please? How many languages do you speak? Uh huh. Very good. Thank you, Mr. I mm -hmm. I do. I speak. I speak. Uh -huh. I speak. Um, one language. One language. Or I speak Spanish and English, right? Okay. Uh -huh. You can do those too. Very good, Miss. Thank you. And yeah, let's go. Karen, can you do a question to Maria Jamilet? Um, uh, you know what? What king of music you like? Um, I music like, I like salsa. I, I like salsa. I like salsa music, Miss. Yes. Mm -hmm. Very good. Thank you. Um, I can see that some of you. Well, I don't know if you have questions so far for this one for the simple present. Or are we good with this one? Because this was only a review. Este será un repaso, verdad? But I can, um, I can see that some of you, it's it's like a little bit of hard for you still. But I don't know. I want you to tell me what is difficult for you. Quiero que me digan que, que, en qué les puedo ayudar. Porque este era solo un repaso. Porque este tema creo que ya lo vimos, ya lo vieron dos veces, ¿verdad? En módulo uno y en el módulo dos, me parece. Ajá, pero en el uno también, al principio lo mira. I remember, I think. 
So uh, tell me, if you have questions right now, it's the time. Ahorita si tienen alguna pregunta o duda acerca del simple present, ahorita es el momento. Solo estamos viendo, como pueden ver, solo eran preguntas, ¿verdad? So yeah, tell me, right now is the time. Or no? Teacher, um, yeah. I remember um, use to mm -hmm. be, for example, is or are in WH question. For example, what is your name? What is your address? En lugar del do. Sí. Eh, es lo que yo recuerdo anteriormente de esa forma, pero mm -hmm. creo que esta es otra de formular, la verdad. No estudiaron eso del no. do y el dos? I don't remember doing really? that. Only, only is or are. Okay, vaya. Sí. Eh, thank you, Mister, for letting me know. Gracias por avisarme, Mister. Vaya. El simple present, como ustedes saben, podemos utilizar diferentes. Thank you, Mister. Este, podemos utilizar um, verbo, vea. Escuchemos solo verbos. Yo les estaba practicando al inicio que eh, el verbo to be se incluye en el simple present. ¿Ok? El verbo to be, cuando yo me refiero al verbo to be, que se acuerdan que al inicio del, del módulo también estuvimos viendo una frase que llevaba el verbo to, be, verbo to be, se refiere al am, al is y al are. ¿Ok? Esta forma que les estaba mostrando quiere decir que nunca la han visto. Esa es la primera vez que lo ven y en oraciones negativas nunca lo estudiaron tampoco. Sí, sí, lo vimos. sí teacher, en, en el módulo 2 lo vimos. Lo único que nos sí, quedamos vimos. mucho tiempo sin la clase, creo que ahí nos ha afectado. Pero sí okay. lo vimos en el módulo 2. Ok, uh, thank you for letting me know. Gracias por avisarme. Bye. Igual mañana vamos a seguir con el tema. Lo que voy a hacer es que voy a tratar de hacer una presentación un poco más profunda para que practiquen más. Porque yo lo hice solo muy así como por encima, digamos, ¿verdad? en el tema. Y si se fijan, solo puse algunos ejemplos porque se supone que ya lo habían estudiado. Pero no tengo ningún problema en que mañana lo volvamos a repasar. Y por eso yo, yo les puse a crear preguntas porque dije, ya se lo saben, ya está más fácil, ¿verdad? But don't worry, mañana lo vamos a hacer otra vez porque mañana vamos con la oración, las preguntas. Ya le puedo decir qué tipo de preguntas es que vamos a hacer mañana. Siempre es con el simple, oh no, vamos con el pasado. Uh -huh. So, yeah, este, eh, igual el simple present, vaya. Recordemos que en las oraciones en positivo, pues prácticamente es que con el I, you, we, el they, pues agregamos, no agregamos nada, ve al verbo. En cambio, cuando tenemos el she, el she y el it, le agregamos ese al verbo, vea, en nuestras oraciones en positivo, ¿sí? Ahí estamos bien, eso sí lo recordamos, ¿verdad? En negativo, ¿cómo hacemos las oraciones en negativo? Se congeló, teacher. No lo escucho, teacher. ¿Y ahora? Lo escucho, teacher. ¿Y ahora? Problemas sí, con el volcán. Ahora sí. I'm sorry, el volcán. El volcán es el problema. <ríe> ok, vaya. ¿Ahora sí me escuchan? Yes, teacher. Ok, vaya. En negativo. ¿Qué es lo que utilizamos en el negativo en simple present? ¿Qué se acuerdan que es la palabrita que utilizamos nuestro ayudante? Muy importante en el negativo del simple present. ¿Cuál es? No. Auxiliary, not. Auxiliary. And, not. And don't. Uh, don't, don't eat. Doesn't. 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 Oh, doesn't. Amazing. Very good. Vaya. Ahí es la primera vez que vemos esa palabrita del don't o el do y el does. Ok. Y este, este, es, este verbo, el do y el does, es muy importante porque con el do y el does usted puede utilizar otra acción. Ok. Entonces, me voy a ir a una, a una pantalla. Vaya. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. Wait a second. Here, wait a second. Okay. Si miran la pizarra ahorita. Yes, teacher. Okay. Vaya. Entonces, cuando ya tenemos el do, con el do y con el dos, tenemos una ventaja que podemos utilizar otro verbo. En cambio, con el are, si se dan cuenta, con el are y con el is y con el am, no. ¿Por qué? Porque con estos estamos preguntando acerca de cómo te sientes, feelings, ¿ok? Estamos preguntando edades, 
estamos preguntando colores favoritos. ¿Se fijaron que varios preguntaron los colores favoritos? Porque sí lo pueden hacer con el verbo to be. También estaban preguntando... Eh, what was the other one? Hmm. Professions. Pueden preguntar professions. Ok. Y muchas cosas más. Ok. En Pero, cambio... Uh -huh. Cuando dijo edades, puso name. Es lo mismo. Name, no, nombre, no, 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 sorry. no, no, no. Names y age. Thank you, mister. Colors okay. and profession. Ok. En cambio, con el do y con el dos, ustedes pueden utilizar otro verbo. Ok. En cambio, con el otro, con el arm, is y el are, no. Por el momento, no. Ok. Entonces, este do y este dos, como que nos da más. Más variedad, entonces, y más, y para saber más información acerca de otra persona. Entonces, yo como creo una pregunta, yo quiero saber, ah, ¿dónde tú trabajas? Ah, o quiero saber, ¿te gusta el oroco? Ah, do you like el oroco? Y miren, Acá pues tenemos el do primero porque les explicaba, ¿verdad? pero ¿cómo? ¿Por qué me dijeron? ¿Cómo sabían algunos que el do se utiliza con el you, el we y el they? Y el does se utiliza con el she, con el he y el it. Eso es we. El, el do es un verbo auxiliar. Perdón. Es, auxiliar. Sí, es un ayudante. O sea, esta, prácticamente esta palabrita acá, aquí, cuando yo estoy utilizando el inicio, no tiene una traducción, porque solo es un ayudante. Es el ayudante, tengamos esto en mente, es el ayudante del simple present. O sea, si usted utiliza esta palabrita, quiere decir que usted está preguntando acerca de una rutina, de un hábito, de algo que realiza todos los días, de algo, una cosa verdadera. ¿Okay? Por ejemplo, acá, do you like Loroco? Y podemos contestar, yes, I do. ¿Okay? Así se responde. O también puede ser. Dos, dos, recuerden que es para hablar de she, he o it, o podemos utilizar nombre. Por ejemplo, dos, Christian, Christian, hmm, it, y duega dos. Y como estoy hablando de él, ¿cómo puedo contestar? Puede ser, yes, he, does, o no, he, Doesn't. Hay en el I do, ¿cómo sería negativo de acá? No, I don't. don't. Exactly. Don't. Very good. Estas son las de yes y no. O sea, ¿qué quiere decir esto? Que aquí solo contesto sí y no. Y ya está. En cambio, la que les estaba dando hace unos segundos, se pregunta algo más. Y tenemos que responder con una, con una oración, quiero decir. Por ejemplo... Vamos a preguntarle a Cristian, where do you eat nuegados? Ah, where do you eat nuegados? Y miren, primero sería un sujeto, ¿verdad? entonces sería, I, el verbo. ¿Cuál es el verbo en esa pregunta? Eat. Uh -huh. eat. eat nuegados, ¿verdad? Porque esto es lo que está preguntando. ¿A dónde? In. In. La tienda. La tiendona, ok. La tiendona. Ok, y ahí contestamos el where, ¿verdad? Acá está, miren. Entonces, eh, that would be like basically all. Eso sería básicamente, ok, eh, acerca de esto. Acá en nuestra respuesta en este, con la doble question, lo que hacemos es eh, dar una oración completa. Y esas oraciones completas ustedes sí las saben hacer, ¿verdad? Eso sí, no hay ningún problema. Entonces, solo cuando nos hagan la pregunta, nos vamos a enfocar en el verbo. En el verbo que mencioné. Por ejemplo, ahí decía, where do you eat nuegados? ¿Cuál era el verbo? Eat. Ah, eat. Ah, eat nuegados en la tendona. Where, where do we, where do you watch TV? Where do you watch TV? I watch, I watch TV. TV. In in my house. Excellent. Very good. I watch TV in my house. And so let's go. Another one. Um, 
for example, hmm, what do you, hmm, what do you buy? What do you buy? ¿Qué ustedes compran? Ah, I buy Coca-Cola. Exactly. I buy Coca-Cola. Excellent. Or maybe where? Hmm, I don't want to use when do you when do you go to sleep? When do you go to sleep? I, I go to sleep. sleep in the night. Exactly. I, I go to sleep in the night. ¿Se, se, se, se fijan que cómo utilizo lo mismo que me preguntan en mi respuesta? Eso es lo que quiero que noten, porque miren, por acá dice, I buy. Ok, what do you buy? Ah, miren, I buy. ¿El qué? Coca-Cola. Aquí, miren, go to sleep. I go to sleep. In the night. Por eso ustedes deben de prestar mucho um, atención, ¿ok? A la pregunta. ¿Ok? En mi caso, okay, el, el, okay. El, que quizás no había comprendido un momento de usar el what, el where, el when, uh -huh. el which, ahí es donde quizás... Me tendría que equivocar en las otras unidades, porque por eso es que no me había quedado muy claro. Uh -huh. Pero es diferente con, con no sé, porque acuérdense, igual que estaba oyendo el corporativo. Uh -huh. Preguntan cómo ustedes en, en la clase. Y uh -huh. creo que de todas las clases que he tenido, la que más le he entendido. No sé oh. si los demás dicen lo mismo. Ay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry that you have that a little bit of problem. Eh, lo siento, vea, ahí que han tenido un poquito de problemas, pero sí, en mi caso, pues yo trato de aclararles, eh, it's, it's, oh, I think it's personal that, creo que cada quien tiene su, su way of teaching, cada quien tiene su manera de, de explicarles, y porque pues no los conozco a todos los teachers, algunos sí, pero otros no, y eh, pues en mi caso, este es un tema muy esencial, y que sí, les voy a mandar un video, y para que lo refuercen, ok, porque alguien ya me pidió un video por ahí, pero sí, yo ya tenía pensado mandarles un video después de la clase, este, para que reforcemos, ¿por qué? Porque si no, pues sabemos, eh, tenemos que manejar muy bien el simple present, porque esto es como un, como una escalerita, ¿verdad? entonces el simple present eh, es, es esencial para que podamos avanzar, ¿verdad? entonces, porque sí, eh, yo, pues, yo como les digo, si yo hubiera sabido, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do something, I would do something better, hubiera hecho un poco más de, 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 de realce. Ya creo que ya, ya entendimos un poco más, ¿verdad? <risa> Espero que sí hayamos entendido que, miren, fíjense, solo en, la, en el verbo, so that's basically all that you have to notice. Eso es en lo que nos vamos a enfocar. Y... Siempre que tengan una duda o pregunta, us, conmigo no duden ahí en escribirme, ¿ok? Ahí acerca de la plataforma, que de hecho es otra cosa que les iba a decir, que por favor la plataforma, algunos no la han trabajado. Este, le estuve chequeando el día de ahora y vi que varios no la han terminado, la sección número uno. Entonces, please, please, try to do it. Y sí vi que algunos también empezaron la sección número dos ayer, pero otros no, ¿ok? And, uh, yes, Mr. Christian. Eh, sí, teacher, con respecto a la pregunta de la plataforma. Dígame. Eh, estuve observando que uh -huh. eh, anteriormente en las, en las capacitaciones anteriores tenían lo que era la... Tenían la... Nos habían dado la observación de que teníamos que ver los videos, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. eh, que tenía un cierto porcentaje, no sé qué, si siempre aplicaría en esta plataforma, ¿verdad? en que teníamos que ver el video completo para tener cierto porcentaje. Sí, mister, este, es que lo que sucede es que eh, siempre se les pone dos videos. De hecho, eso es algo que, que aparecía por ahí. Um, en el video, hay un video que es el, el mío, ¿verdad? Obviamente, y está el video de, creo que ahorita no me va, ¿me escuchan ahorita? 
Sí, teacher. Okay. Yes, teacher. Es, ok, perfect. Es que me parecía ahí en la pantalla de conexión inestable. Vale. Está mi video que está, de hecho les mandé el link vea, de, la, de, la, de la lista de, de reproducción de, del grupo. Vea. Pero también en la plataforma les aparece un, un video extra de otra personita, ¿verdad? Por ahí, que de Así hecho es. ese es el que le voy a enviar también después. Eh, sí es importante verlo porque en algunos ejercicios, como por ejemplo en la de esta semana del final, del final, del midterm que van a tener esta semana, deben de visualizar el video para poder responder. ¿Ya me entiende? Si no lo mira, pues va a salir mal en el midterm. ¿Me entiende? A veces sí. les, les ponen un video que deben de contestar ciertas preguntas, ¿ok? Entonces, por eso es que se les pide que lo vean, porque en ciertos ejercicios de la plataforma sí les va a pedir que tiene que ver el video. En los que les he estado ayudando en la sección 1 y 2, no, porque es de la clase, ve ahí prácticamente el video que suben es el, el mío a veces y no pues suben uno de, de otra persona que siempre es de inglés corporativo. Pero sí, a veces se les va a pedir que en las actividades van a tener que ver el video. Tienen que estar pendientes de eso, ¿vea? porque como ya les dije, yo les iba a ayudar con la plataforma, con la sección 2, pero ustedes deben de trabajar el midterm, ustedes solitos, ¿ok? Porque pues no salimos con las dos cosas a la vez esta semana, ¿vea? porque son dos cositas que tienen dos secciones. Uh -huh. Por eso es, mister, ¿ok? No sé si respondí. Ok, gracias, Ticha. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Sí, sí, okay. gracias, Ticha. No problem. Miss Carmen, tell me. Teacher, yo desde el viernes tengo problemas con la plataforma. Porque le... cuando quiero ingresar, uh -huh. cuando quiero iniciar la sesión, me aparece como que está bloqueada. Y ya escribí ahí, creo que a la licenciada Mayra, sí creo que se llama. Uh -huh. Pero hasta la fecha no puedo ingresar yo a la plataforma. Por eso no he trabajado la semana anterior, jueves y viernes, uh -huh. ni tampoco el día de ayer, ni ahora. Okay. Vaya mis. Puedo hacer en este caso. Vaya mis, voy a intentar ingresar este, yo en un segundo cuando terminemos, ok, y le voy a decir qué es lo que sucede, porque aquí creo que tengo su correo, entonces voy a intentar yo, y si no, sí vamos a pedir aux auxilio mañana, <ríe> así que no se preocupe, uh -huh. yo aquí eh, ya no temis, uh -huh. y yo le ayudo mañana, ok, no se preocupe, me hubiera dicho a mí. Bueno, ya saben, sí, me pueden escribir siempre que tengan algún problema para ingresar, para este, hacer algún ejercicio, porque a veces la plataforma pues tiene algunas, algunos errores, pero no es que todos, sino que algunos, pues avisen, me manden, me mire, mire eso que no, no es así, o podría ayudarme, chequeme, no es que le pueda hacer todos los ejercicios, pero eso no, sino que solo para ayudarles un poco. Inténtenlo ustedes siempre, por favor, inténtenlo, se le traba la lengua, inténtenlo ustedes primero y después me preguntan. Ok, porque recuerden, la práctica es muy importante para el idioma inglés. Ok, so please try it, try to do it. I know you can do it. Yo sé que ustedes pueden hacerlo, but try it, ok. And yes, so questions right now. Questions, questions. In the, uh, right now we are going to go to this section. So we can, because we have to move on. Sadly here we have some questions, informative questions with Simple present. Can you help me to read this section, please? Mr. Nilton, help me here with this uh, section, the first one. The first three questions, please. Okay. Mm -hmm. Number one, what do you do? Uh -huh. Number two, what department do you supervise? Supervisor? Number three, what branch? Does the manages manage very manage. good excellent thank you let's go next one help me please to read um Maria Jamilet hello Maria Jamilet help me to read please Maria se le dejó de oír un ratito teacher ¿Qué Ay. parte quiere que le lea? Eh, lo que está bajito, Miss. Uh, where does... Okay. Where does your company manufacturing? What unit do you... What unit do you oversee? Who do you report to? 
Very good. Okay. Now, those are the, uh, as you can see, um, the simple present. And here we have another section. Y aquí tenemos otra sección. And it says here, those are examples, right? Esos eran unos ejemplos. Y como pueden ver ahí tenemos en negrita, pues el, el nuestro ayudante del simple present. Y tenemos otro verbo, vea que está el negrita al final. Siempre miren que al final aparece nuestro verbo principal. Nuestro ayudante está al principio, pero nuestro verbo principal al final. Ok. And then, um, and then we have the questions here that it says to ask information questions in the simple present begin with, ¿con qué empezamos? In a WH question. <laughs> question. WH word. Exactly, with that WH word. Okay, I'm going to WH word. Now, follow by, y después que va. To be. Okay. Do or, or that. Exactly, do or does. And then after, y después del do or does, what do you need? Subject. Subject, exactly. And then after that, what do we have? Y después del subject? Verb. Verb, exactly. Lo último que va a ir es el verbo, right? Very good. Excellent. So that's how we have it. Así es como hacemos el orden de nuestras preguntas, ¿verdad? Very good, very good. En el simple present. And now, let me go. Can I move on? ¿Puedo continuar? Yes, it should. Okay. Yes, it should. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Now, here, it says that we write the questions and that correspond to the answers that follow. Use the verb in parentheses. Okay, aquí tenemos estas preguntas. Bueno, tenemos algunas palabritas, como pueden ver. What are we going to do? We have to create questions, okay? Like for example, number one, it says, what department does Martha manage? Porque si aparecen las respuestas, miren, Martha manage the sales department. ¿Cómo podría ser la pregunta para la number two? Help me, please. What? Mm -hmm. What? It is a I supervise. What? Man, what? Um... What uh, what, what do manage uh, what do manage department? What do you what do you what do you but the verb is supervise supervise uh, what do you supervise hasta ahí? department no department why Depar do you department supervise no it would be what department do you supervise okay what department do you supervise? Y la respuesta sería, I supervise the maintenance department, ¿ok? Y miren, esto puede ser posible. Y de hecho ahí aparecía en una, recuerda que decía what color, what time, ¿ok? Y miren, ¿por qué? Porque tenemos el what y el qué queremos saber. Ah, y después va, miren, nuestro ayudante, do, nuestro sujeto y nuestro verbo. Que acá están nuestros verbos que vamos a utilizar en estas preguntas, ¿ok? So let's try it. Vamos a intentar, okay, with question number three, four, five, and six, everybody, okay? Can we try it? Vamos a intentarlo y después chequeamos. Teacher, ¿Ah? eh, en, la, en esa respuesta, en de la número dos, uh -huh. aparece el department después del what, porque la pregunta es como bastante específica, ¿verdad? Exactly. Porque dice, Por eso va antes del do. Exactly. ¿Cuál departamento tú supervisas? Ajá, okay. entonces yo superviso el departamento de mantenimiento, Luis. Number okay. three, vamos, ajá, very good idea. Sería who? Ok, who? Who, perdón. Wait a second. But if you want, you can work right now and then we can do it. Who? Uh -huh.
Other. Who? Pero ¿cuál es el ayudante? Da. Ah, da. does. Uh -huh. Porque habla de Claudia. Exactly. Others. Does Claudio uh -huh. oversee? Claudio oversees the branch in Ilopango. Number four. The assembly report to this. Who does? Who does? Report. Asse report assemblers. Mm, assemb Assembler, assemblers report. Who do, do the assemblers is el do, porque estamos hablando de un grupo, de they. Assemblers report to, okay? And then it would be the assembler report to the supervisor, okay? Okay. Number five, everybody. Where? Where? Where do? Okay. Where do? Manufacture okay. plant. Where do is the man no. when no do we manufacture? Where do we manufacture? We manufacture in the Santana plant. Now, next one and the last one. Who, who does yeah. Douglas do? Who does yeah. train? Do Douglas? No, but it says do al final. Douglas? Train. train. Who does Douglas? The station. Who Douglas? Yes, do, mm -hmm. But you think is who does who does Douglas do? No. It would be what? What does Douglas? Give me, give me, give, bring me time to read it. It's, it's what? What does Douglas do? Douglas trains the new staff, okay? Das, das porque sería they, hablando de new staff, ellos. Exactly, el nuevo, el nuevo equipo. Él entrena al nuevo equipo. Question so far? Do we finish with this? Yes, teacher. Okay, now let's see. Right now we are going, I am going to do attendance section, okay? Please say presente because it's already time, a long time ago, basically. Please say presente, Adriana Gabriela. Ana Marleni. Blanca Luz. Um, hello, can you hear me?
Hello. Hello. Okay, hoy sí me escucha. Carlos Hi. Miguel. Hello. Hello. Carlos Miguel. Yes, okay. Uh, thank you, Carlos Roberto. Say present and remember. Present. Thank present, you. Present, present teacher. <laughs> Christian. I'm sorry, Christian Alexander. Present teacher. Thank you. Um, Clelia Estela. No se escucha nada. Ahorita, ahorita vamos a esperar, güey. Así que, hello. No se escucha nada. Clelia. Present. Thank you. Let's go. David Emanuel. Present. Thank you. Diana. Diana Noemi. Present. Present. Edwin Roberto. Present Jenny, teacher. Thank you. Jenny Carolina. Present teacher. Thank you. Jorge Luis. Jose Dimas. Julio Cesar. Present. Thank you, Mr. Eh, Karen Estefanía. Present teacher. Thank you. Milton Alexander. Present. Rodrigo Jose. Present teacher. Thank you, Ruth, Rebecca. Present teacher. Thank you, Serafín, Constanza. Present, present teacher. Thank you, Maria Jamilet. Present. Thank you, Carmen Guadalupe. Ana Verónica. Present. Thank you. Marlene Oneida. Present teacher. Juan Ezequiel. Present teacher. Thank you. Very good. Aquí, aquí, uh, aquí no mencioné. Somebody? No, okay. Todos lo mencioné. Okay. Okay. Very good. Okay. Now let's go the other practice. Um, Okay, let's see in here, and we only have three minutes, okay? So, maybe we are going to work in the platform right now, okay? Solo voy a intentar ingresar con, eh, ¿quién es Carmen? Carmen, are you here? Miss Carmen. Oh, yeah, so fue Miss yes, Carmen. teacher. Okay, Miss, voy a intentar ahorita ingresar with your your account give me one sec oh no es cierto miss está bloqueado entonces mañana le voy a voy a consultar miss okay y le aviso okay teacher. okay okay, teacher. okay. Gracias. okay. no problem miss okay so everybody please go to the platform please So we are in section number three, right? Mm, two, number two? Mm, no, because, no, yeah, I'm, I'm saying that we are in section number uh, two here. Um, so we already did this one yesterday. O sea, estamos en la sección número dos, pero estamos en la tarea seis, ayer. I, uh, today we are going to do section number seven, right? And in this one, we are going to create questions. In this section, we are going to create questions. No se oye, teacher. Hello. I don't listen to you. Hello, right now. Hello, can you hear me? Yes. yes. Hello, teacher. Yes. yes. Okay, so in this one, um, we are going to order the words to create <laughs> questions. What does this what machine, does the machine do? do? What does this machine do? machine do? Okay, very good. What does this machine do? do?
What about the next one, number two? Who does? Who does she, she meet? Meet on Saturday. On Saturday. Exactly. Who does she meet on Saturdays? Number three. How many? How many, how many people, people does, does she, she supervise? supervise? Exactly. Does she supervise? And <coughs> number four. How much, how much does, does this cost? This cost. Where number do you eat, where do you, where where do you eat lunch? lunch? Where do you <coughs> eat lunch? Okay. Do you want to change uh, anything? Or are we good? Should we send? Yes. Yes. Teacher yes. number three. Uh, people. Okay. People. Uh -huh. people. People. How many people? Uh-huh. P.O.P. Oh, yes, thank you. <laughs> Very good. A little L. Yeah, the little L. Okay, let me see. Send. Yay, nice, nice, everybody. What? That was amazing. Hello? Hello, teacher. Hello. Oh, oh, my goodness. Hello, can you hear me? Teacher. Teacher. Hello, can you hear me? Yes. Yes, I can hear you. Yes. Okay, now, yes, hello. Okay, so here in this one, we have very good answers, everybody. Please do it right now, because since we have uh, the answers here, please do it, okay? And remember, eh, por favor, aquí tenemos la respuesta. Um, and please, do it. Por favor, hagámoslo, porque ahí tenemos las respuestas, como les estaba diciendo, y en, el, en la sección del my midterm, que está por ahí también, acá en, si vamos a, um, si nos vamos aquí a la sección de curso, pues acá nos aparece el midterm. Este midterm, ustedes lo deben de hacer, ok. Háganlo ahorita, una sección por, por día, son solo cuatro secciones acá en el midterm, ok. Yo les digo secciones porque cada vez que entramos a un, um, so we have the, the like the little sections here one two three and four so try to do them okay por favor intenten hacerlas we can do this okay pueden hacerlo y eh, intenten okay nada perdemos con intentar okay so try it okay and I hope to see, bueno, solo que el de Miss Carmen, que vamos a ayudarle ahí a solucionar, pero espero que los demás, ¿verdad? Por favor, háganlo. Es importante, as I told you before, okay? Do we have any questions? In a few minutes, I will send you the video. En unos minutos, pues, sí les enviaré eh, un video, por favor, de que quiero que todos lo vean, por favor, porque mira, les voy a hacer preguntas acerca de eso. And about the... The simple present, okay? It's very important too, okay? Okay, okay teacher. teacher. Okay, so if we don't have any more questions, you may go, okay? Si no tiene más preguntas, pues se puede retirar. Thank you, everybody, for coming to today's class. Ooh. Gracias a todo. I'm so sorry for the intervenience that I have. Well, there are so many intervenience with my internet. So sorry, but I hope tomorrow I will be better, okay? Pero mañana pues ya esté un poco mejor my internet, okay? <laughs> es que el don't volcán, worry, es que el volcán, oh my goodness, no. 
de, de, de ceniza y todo. <laughs> no, it's your problem, teacher. Ah, uh, yes, I know, but yeah, I, I feel sad because I don't get my class well. Pero mañana, maybe, hopefully, mañana ojalá que pues ya hayamos solucionado el problema, ok? Ok, and thank you everybody for coming. Gracias a todos por venir, and I'll see you tomorrow, ok? Los veo mañana. Bye bye, everybody. Take care. Bye bye. See you tomorrow. Bye bye. Good night. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Take care. Have a good night, everybody. Be safe. Bye. Carmen, no se les no se le escucha, Carmen. I cannot hear you. Hello, Miss. Bye. Bye.